two blocks connected by a heavy rope. The two blocks in figure are connected by a heavy uniform rope with a mass of 4 kilograms. An upward force of 200 newtons is applied as shown. Draw three free body diagrams, one for the 6 kilogram block, one for the 4 kilogram block, and another one for the 5 kilogram block. So 4 kilogram rope and another one for the 5 kilogram block. For each force, indicate what body exerts that force. What is the acceleration of the system? What is the tension at the top of the heavy rope? What is the tension at the midpoint of the heavy rope? Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the free body diagrams. So in part A, uh, we're supposed to draw the free body diagram for the six kilogram block. For convenience, I have labeled that block, block one. Okay, so this is block one. So, uh, in the free body diagram, the block is modeled as a particle. Um, there is a force being applied to this block up in the upward direction, that is F. So, this is the force that appears here. Uh, there will be the weight of the block pointing downward as well as the tension that will develop uh, at the upside of this uh, rope. So there will be a tension uh, that is pointing down. So the tension in the upward part of the top of the uh, rope and then we have the weight of this block pointing down. So it's block one, so it is M1G that is pointing down. And this F is the external force that we apply. Okay. Uh, the T up, the tension, is exerted by the rope on block one, so it is exerted by the rope and M1G, the weight of the block, is the gravitational force. It is exerted by the Earth. Okay, now as for the rope, let's draw a free body diagram for the rope. The rope is modeled as a particle. Mass of the rope times the gravitational acceleration points down. It's the weight of the rope. Now the rope uh, feels a tension in the upward direction and also it's going to, it's applying a tension uh, in the, at the bottom, which is going to be uh, in the opposite direction on the rope. So the tension on the rope will be up because it's applying a tension on six kilogram block in the downward direction, the reaction of that force is up and uh, there is also a tension pointing down t down so that's at the bottom of the uh, rope uh, so tension t up is the reaction to block one to the force uh, applied by the rope so it is t up it, that is exerted this force is exerted by block one uh, at the bottom there is a tension that is 
a force exerted by block 2 and there is the weight of the rope mass of the rope times the gravitational acceleration that is exerted by the earth okay so let's look at the free body diagram for the 5 kilogram block that is block 2 so uh, for this block we have the tension uh, pointing up that's at the bottom of the rope T down uh, it's the uh, force exerted by the rope on block 2 and this is the reaction of that force exerted by block 2 on the rope and here is the weight of the second block it's m2g pointing down so uh, this t down is exerted by the rope and m2g is exerted by the earth it's the gravitational force okay so we're done with the free body diagrams and we have uh, identified for each force what body exerts that force now we want to calculate the acceleration of the system so in part B in order to calculate the acceleration of the system what I'm going to do is uh, to eliminate action reaction forces I will only consider a free body diagram for the total system okay so uh, in that case there are only two forces there is the gravitational force and total the total mass uh, times G pointing down and there is the force external force F that we're uh, applying in the upward direction and let's say that this is the y-axis and the net force on the y-axis is the external force F minus the total mass times uh, G which must be equal to M total times the common acceleration A so this force F was 200 newtons now what is the total mass we have to calculate we have a 6 kilogram block 4 kilogram rope 5 kilogram block so the total mass is 15.0 kilograms and 200 newtons minus 15 times gravitational acceleration 9.8 meters per second square this is equal to 15 times the common acceleration a so the acceleration can be calculated as 200 minus 15 times 9.8 divided by 15 so if you do this calculation and I checked the number of significant figures 333 three, three, so that's the minimum number of significant figures here so that's basically 3.53 meters per second square okay now we're ready to move on to part C part C is asking me what is the tension at the top of the heavy rope okay so um, part C so from the free body diagram of block 1 uh, so that's this one and here is the y-axis if I write the net force acting on it the net force on the y-axis is the force F that we're applying in the upward direction minus the tension and the weight so it's minus tension at the butt at the top of the rope minus 
N1G. This is equal to N1A, where a positive A would imply acceleration in the upward direction. So the, the top of the rope has a tension, which is force F minus N1 parenthesis N1 times G plus A. So if I substitute the numbers here, 200 newtons uh, pointing up minus block a, a, one has a mass six kilograms times 9.8 plus 3.53. That's my acceleration. So I find that the tension at the top of the rope should be up to three significant figures, 120 newtons. Okay. Let's move on to part D. Part D is asking me what is the tension at the midpoint of the rope. Okay, now to answer that question, what I'm going to do is I will concentrate on block two. Block two free body diagram tells me that uh, there is a tension pointing up uh, that's the tension at the bottom of the rope and there is the weight pointing down so if you calculate uh, the net force on the y-axis that is a t down minus m2g this must be equal to m2 times acceleration a so I can calculate the tension at the bottom of the rope. So T down will be M2 times A plus G. So M2 was 5 kilograms. So it is 5 times 9.8 plus 3.53. Uh, and we find that at the bottom of the rope, the tension is 66.7 newtons. Now, how do I calculate the tension in the middle? The tension will be increasing as I go from the bottom of the rope to the top of the rope. So that's what I see here. It has a minimum value 66.7 newtons, maximum value 120 newtons. Then I check if it's a uniform mass distribution. It's a uniform rope. So tension will be increasing linearly from the bottom to the top. That's what it means. So, uh, I can say that since the rope is has a uniform distribution uniform mass distribution the tension increases linearly with distance from the bottom to the top. So from this uniform mass distribution argument, I can calculate tension right in the middle of the rope to be tension at the bottom plus tension at the top, T up plus T down, divided by 2, it should be the algebraic average of these two tensions, so it is 120 plus 66.7 divided by 2. The answer is 93.4 newtons. Okay, and finally, I want to check uh, from the free body diagram of the rope. So let's check the rope. Now, in the free body diagram of the rope, I have T up, T down, tension at the top, tension at the bottom, and the weight of the rope. So if I calculate the net force in the y, on the y-axis, T up, minus t down minus mass of the rope times g 
must be equal to mass of the rope times the common acceleration a so if you substitute the numbers 120 newtons minus 66.7 min uh, should be equal to mass of the rope 4 times uh, g plus a 9.8 plus 3.53 which is equal to 53.3 on the right hand side and on the left hand side so therefore I conclude that I've calculated the tension correctly so this equation holds okay to summarize we have a uniform heavy rope uniform means the mass distribution is uniform it's uniformly distributed mass so the tension will be increasing linearly from the bottom to the top uh, it has a mass of 4 kilograms total mass upward force of 200 newtons is applied uh, we have two blocks one and two and we want to know the free body diagrams who is in exerting what force what is the total acceleration of the system what is the tension at the top and what is the tension right in the middle so for the block one we have the f external force pointing up and one g weight of block one pointing down that's exerted by the earth tension pointing down that's exerted by the rope tension at the top of the rope exerted on block one has a reaction on the rope tension on the rope is pointing up uh, it has a weight mass of the rope times g it's going to be exerting a tension on block two in the upward direction which will have a reaction uh, downward direction on the rope so t up is exerted by block one t down is exerted by block two these are two reaction forces and the weight is due to the gravitational force exerted by the earth on block two we have the weight of block two and the tension exerted by the rope to calculate the total acceleration uh, acceleration of the uh, total system uh, i have looked at the full system as one single particle so that allows us to cancel all the action reaction forces we have only the total weight and total times g pointing down and f pointing up so the net force on the y-axis f minus m total g must be equal to m total times a so we can calculate the acceleration here now if we substitute this uh, result into the equation that we obtain from block uh, one f minus t up minus m1 g pointing up is equal to m1 a and uh, if we substitute the numbers we can calculate isolate t up here the tension at the top is 120 newtons we can do the same exercise for block two we can calculate the tension at the bottom it's t down minus m2 g is m2 a so we can calculate 66.7 newtons now but the question is what's the tension in the middle since the rope has a uniform distribution it will be the algebraic uh, average of t up and t down which is 93.4 newtons finally we checked from the free body diagram of the rope if this makes sense t up minus t down minus mrg must be equal to mr times a so t up minus t down indeed is equal to mr times g plus a so this holds